Affordable real estate attracts artists, and when artisans can work, when they're informed and inspired by their surroundings, they themselves are able to transform those very environments for the better. Skeptical? Well, in Detroit, where the creative art scene is booming, it's only fitting that the mecca of this movement is going down on a street synonymous with this exact kind of revitalization. 2000 Brooklyn Street is the home of 15 artists. There's a wait list to live here because owner Richard Rollins is more a patron of the arts than a landlord. And subsidized rents complement his private collection which is displayed publicly throughout the building. There's some really cool pieces in here. And on the first floor, one of the building's tenants is making his mark, literally. I'm Antonio A.G., uh, known as Shades. From the city of Detroit, born and raised. Um, graffiti artist. Started out as me being illegal, bombing walls and all the rest of that. Then it turned into me being legal. Now I do commission artwork, shows, corporate. It's a business and it's pleasure. And because there's beauty and simplicity, he's keeping it old school with classic bubble letters. The top half okay. is all going to be blue. Okay. And then the bottom half will be silver. Just no! What? <laughs> <laughs> Working in Detroit is very interesting because there's no distraction. And to be honest, to, to, to be here and know how to survive and, and, and make money here when there was nobody here, you know what happened when people got here? Oh, dude, I'm smashing. Okay. Yeah, try not to is drip. Is that going to drip? Yeah, how it's going to drip really bad. That means that you are not a graffiti What artist. do I do to stop it? I, there's nothing. See? It just makes it worse. With commissions coming in from private collectors and businesses, and with two works archived in the Detroit Institute of Art, Shades isn't a working artist, he's a thriving one. You definitely know how to control that can. Uh, it's called can control. <laughs> Living in this building, it's like a dorm, but for grown-ups. Each artist in here that's from Detroit is literally shaping this city. That's representation at its best. You gotta sign it. I've gotta sign it? You gotta have a graffiti name. Lady. There you go. And that looks amazing. <laughs> there it is. It's our first collab. Our first collab. I need some practice on this. Just a little. Just a little. The siren song from another master craftsman calls you from the first floor to the second. My name is Dwelle. I'm from Detroit, born and raised. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer. And growing up listening to soul, jazz, and hip hop, Dwelly's taken his influences and created a music style all his own. Some people call it neo soul music, I just call it soul music. Some of the artists that I've collaborated with, Bahamadia, Common, Kanye West, I'm still growing, I'm still working, still learning new things every time I work with somebody. Now I need you to sing. <laughs> oh man, I am not a singer. <laughs> what note am I hitting? Hey, that's your note right hey. there. Yep. How long does it normally take you to create a song? Uh, I mean, a beat? anywhere from 15 minutes to 15 months. And when it comes to building a track, Dwelly constructs layers of sound. First with a beat. I want you to hit the snare on the two and the four. Okay. One, two, two. three, four. Then with the bass line. Oh, I think I messed that one up. That was no. perfect. Was it? It was perfect. And then I'll put down a rough vocal. It might not be words at first. It might just be NBC on TV blah, 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 la, 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 and from there I can just write a story around it. I think music made Detroit. If you look back to the Motown era, that's when Detroit was really put on the map. I think that's why there are so many great musicians in Detroit right now, because we came up seeing our parents loving music and influenced them to pick up instruments. We were kind of forced to pick up the craft also. Let's listen to our track. Let's listen to it back. Dwelle featuring Adrena. <laughs> We're getting drinks Thursday night. We about to do our thing. What to our dreamers sang it, sang it, sang it, yeah. <laughs> our dreamers sang. Eh, eh. I would definitely buy this. Well, I appreciate it. You know, maybe we'll put it out. We'll make a couple dollars. Finally, grab the elevator and give your legs a rest because creative muscles are still fully flexing on the third floor. My name is Jeremy Deputad. I'm a photographer. I was born and raised in the Detroit area, and I've lived in Detroit proper since maybe 96. Try that. I was an art director at a magazine for a while, and I just really kind of got sick of sitting in front of a computer all day. My dad had gave me an old film camera, and it was mostly just kind of taking photos of my friends, and I started messing more with the camera, and I eventually quit my job, and here I am. In photography, there's three things, right? There's a the shutter speed, the ISO, and the aperture. 
all three need to get lined up mm -hmm. in order for an exposure. I feel like the only way to really understand all this is to actually use it and shoot it. There's definitely a vibe that kind of Detroit has, and I feel like there's just something about the people that you don't find anywhere else. Who are some of the people you shot? I work with Eminem quite a bit. I'm actually working with Kid Rock tomorrow. He's nice. got 10 sold out shows. So you're gonna go Detroit, shoot while he performs? So, yeah. Engaging with his subjects, Jeremy's able to take much more than their portraits. He captures their personalities. Yeah, bring him a little bit over. There we go. Detroit is a city that's on a comeback. I feel like it's kind of the new Brooklyn in a sense that, you know, everyone kind of went to Williamsburg and now that the rent's through the roof and they can't afford it, now they're coming to Detroit. One more photo of you guys and then we're going to call it a day. After an extraordinary day of collaborating with only three of the many artists working in Detroit, it's safe to say this creative scene is here to stay. Perfect way to end the perfect day. Salud. Salud. Good times. Welcome to Good Detroit. Time.